All right, folks. This is the spider that I built. This is all one print. Probably took uh, about 12 hours. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough walls in it. I went 10 walls and somewhere around 40, 30, 40 percent infill. Um, I made this one so that it's got built-in mounts underneath. Whichever side, whichever size, um, not size, but whichever orientation you want to do this in, if you want to use rebar, whatever, um, three quarter inch PVC, schedule 40 fits in there. I plan on teeing mine together and having an arch so it kind of wiggles a little bit in the wind, um, but you can do it how you want. Eyes are on the front side. That's the back. You got, uh, these are the hinges. I redesigned the hinges. Two piece. Slides on PVC. And if you want to glue it, once it's all, you get them all straight and lined up and however you want them, you could actually PVC glue them. Uh, I plan on just taking some hot glue and kind of going around the edges here. Some of them are pretty tight. Some of them are loose, depends on your printer. Um, the tight ones, I just tippy tap them on. These are the feet. They push in. Um, I have a half inch design as well, but uh, they just slide into the PVC. Again, you can glue them, tap them in, depending on how tight they are. Up to you. So for the legs, uh, the outer leg, I use six inch. For the middle, is 25 to 26 inches or however you want. Um, I just heat it up a big section of it and just kind of put a little bit of a curve to it and it gives it more of a distinct look. The next section is going to be 15 inches. Roughly. I mean, that doesn't have to be exact however you want to configure it, but this is how I did mine. Uh, it's 15 inches. And then three inches to connect this to the body. But I maybe, I think I'm gonna do away with the three inches and go direct. So for me to go to direct to this, I need an inch and three quarter, which I had around here somewhere. But apparently I've misplaced it. Okay. Either way, inch and three quarters goes inside. An inch and three quarter will go inside here. Wherever my front is, I'm probably going to slide this in there. These may need tippy tapping. Let me get that in there like so. You can come back and glue, hot glue, whatever. Leave it loose so you can adjust it. This depends on how it fits. I'll do eight of those the same way, all the way around. So once I got those, 
before I get too far ahead. Um, to install the abdomen, this here's the abdomen. I had an accident when printing. This was two pieces. I printed the, this piece just like that. Printed this one just like that. But uh, I had some warping on the corners. Um, print came off, never finished. So I had to do a couple more prints to get it complete. Uh, then I went back with a uh, soldering iron and tacked it all together. Looks kind of horrid, but you ain't gonna see it at night anyway. So too much uh, filament for me to waste. So I made it work. So to attach the abdomen, you got two, ten and a half, ten and a half inch long pieces. They're gonna go on the back side. Same thing. A little snug, but I wanted it snug. So I got that on. And then the abdomen. Came out pretty good. Uh, and it slides on like that. Now I got my abdomen on. <laughs> so, back to the leg. So, quarter inch bolt. I don't have the right size bolts or nuts. So I'm, I'm guessing about an inch and a half. I'd go with stainless so they don't rust. Lock nut. If you want to put washers in there, you can put washers in it. However you want to do it. So I got all this together. Made this one. Well, actually I got the other piece. These just slide on. I got the right ones here. I'll line these up a little bit. Right. Get my 15 inch. That one's a little loose. This one on the bottom because all the weight will be on it. Top one. And that bolt. Lock washers, you'll be able to tighten these up and they'll stay. Another here.
Okay, once you get all your legs on, better do it on the ground outside so the legs rest on the ground. However you want to do it. But that's basically how it goes together. Each one of the legs. If you need longer PVC, you go on the ground. Hold this thing up. You can add longer. The legs are adjustable. You can raise it up high as you want to go with it. And then just readjust your legs to what you like. So for the front fangs, all I did was two half inch pieces, three quarter inch PVC. Two nineties. Obviously, I've got two different 90s. I'll have to match it up later. And that's it, folks. That's how you put them together. Uh, probably go back and paint the PVC underneath black and I'll probably recoat everything with white uh, I'm checking into some black lights as someone suggested but who knows we'll see what happens all of this is 3d printed the heads 3d printed joints are 3d printed they're all the same joint you just have to print a bunch of them uh two four six six times eight forty eight so you'll need forty eight of them nuts and bolts and that's how she goes <laughs>